So this is the data set we're going to use for this project. This is Adidas sales um, database. So this data is gotten from Cargo. I just had a little bit of modification to the data set so it can make sense for the reporting that we want to do. And then here we have the data set that shows the retailer, retail ID, invoice, by their total sales, the unit sold, the price per unit, the operating profit, and also the operating margins and the sales method. Then here I also have the tables that shows the product names and the pictures of those products. So this is like an image URL uh, of those products where you can get those products from. Actually, I got this all these pictures from the um, um, Adidas website, right? And I also have another tables here which just shows typically the locations of um, uh, where our product has been sold. You can see the city, the state, the region. So this is the data set. So let's jump right into creating the report itself. So I'm going to go directly into Power BI. This is Power BI Desktop for those that are new to Power BI Desktop. In Power BI Desktop, we have majorly three views. We have the report view, we have the table view, and we have the model view. So the model view is where you create your data modeling and how you connect different tables that kind of make sense together, which is fact and dimension. I will get there to show you how we can create some a little bit of um, um, data model in this short course. Also, I have um, data here where you have get data where you can connect to different data set. So I can click on get data and click on more. Then from here, you see the different data set you can connect to. For example, files, these are different files you can connect to. Database, if you want to connect to a database, these are different databases you can connect to. Microsoft Fabrics, Power Platforms, all the Power Platform uh, connectors, Azure, online services um, that you can connect to and also others. But in this case, we we'll let like connect to a single Excel file, right? But just know that there are 300 plus uh, Prebute connectors on Power Query that you can connect to. So, and this is um, Power Query. So I'm going to click on Excel workbook and click connect since the data set I want to connect to is Excel. Now I'm going to go to where my data set is. So my data set is called Adidas US data set. So I, I'm going to drop the data in my descriptions below so you can also download the data set and connect to it right there. Interesting. So this is the data set. Uh, I have the fact sales, which is the data sales Adidas. I have the location and the product table. So I'm going to select each of them that I want to connect to and I'll click transform. Yeah, so once I click transform, it's going to open a Power Query interface. This is a Power Query interface. It's different from Power BI. So Power Query is an ETL tool that allows you to do some extraction, transformation, and you load into Power BI. So extraction simply means you extract from whatever your data set is from. Like the case of this, we are extracting from um, Excel, and the transformation is being done here, right, in the Power Query uh, interface. So we're going to do the transformation here. So let's start from our fact sales table. This is the data sales Adidas. So right here, you can see that um, a little bit of some rows that are not needed before the main headers of this table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the first four rows. So I'll go to my home tab. Then right here, I'll see remove rows. Then I'm going to select remove top row. And I'm going to select four since I don't want the first four rows. So once I remove that, it will remain the headings. Then I can go to transform and select this use first row as headers. Use first row as headers. So you're going, it's going to kind of move the headers up. So I can see my headers right now. So then the next thing is to change the data type of all of my columns. So test is fine for this. I think the retailer ID should also be kind of um, test. Uh, test. So let me replace the current. It should also be test. Invoice date is fine as date. Location key is fine as key. So this is the location key. So product is also a test. It's fine as that. Then the price per unit is um, uh, decimal number, which is fine. Unit sold is also fine with all sales. And the total sales is it should be kind of um, a fixed decimal number. So anything that has to do with money should be fixed decimal number. So the 1.2 sign indicated decimal number. So I'm going to change that to fixed decimal number because we are dealing with money. So I'll do the same for operating profit as well because profit is also dealing with money and then um, the operating margin is is, is is like a percentage i'm going to change that to percentages and then you can see that here so basically i'm done with transformation of my fat sales table so the next thing to do is to go to my location table and i'm going to kind of repeat the same thing so the first three uh, rows here are not needed so i'll go to my home tab click on remove rows select remove top row 
and type three here and click OK. Um, it's going to remove the first three rows. So the same thing I did by going to transform to use first row as ever. I can do it from here with this icon here, this short icon. If I click on it, you'll see use first row as others. So you're going to use that. And then um, this is going to come here and just be sure that uh, everything is fine. I think everything is fine. One thing I also like to check if is there is a duplicate inside this uh, key because the dimension should not have a duplicate. That's another thing you should note. So this is just the locations that have more context to the fact. So that give me more information about the location. So the key should not have a duplicate. One way you can check is you can come here, keep row, and select keep duplicate. And if there's a duplicate there, it's going to show it. But right now there's no duplicate. So which means you are fine. I'll delete the steps here under applied step. You can delete a step. Now I'm going to go to product. Then from product, I really don't need to remove any row. I just need to use first row as headers as well. So I can push the row up. And this is my list of product. And this is my um, image URL, which is kind of um, fine, right? So I can leave that like it is. And I think I'm done with my data transformations. There may be more transformations to be done, but this is just uh, uh, the transformation that I require for this particular data set. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to my home and select close and apply to load this into Power BI.